Michael, thanks for joining us. Very disappointing news coming out of the camp at the weekend with the injury to Tyrese. How's he coping personally? Yeah, it's difficult. I think, to be fair, he's, he's been pretty upbeat. Um, you know, Ty's the kind of boy that is a positive lad. He, he's always got a smile on his face. So, um, but I think he knows, obviously, now that, you know, the season is over, which is disappointing for him, very disappointing for us as well. Um, and the focus has to be now and obviously um, getting him right again. And, and uh, you know, he's positive about that, which which is a big help. And, you know, a lot of support here from within the club, the medical staff, obviously, um, are looking at all possibilities, um, myself and, and, and the coaching staff. And obviously, the, you know, the, the, his fellow players are giving him a lot of support. So but we just got we just got to support him through the, the, the process when he goes for surgery and obviously then in terms of his rehab as well. Do you know the exact nature of the injury, Michael? Yeah, we do. Uh, it's you know he, he's got uh, quite uh, bad damage to his cartilage. There's possibly another procedure that will be need to be done there at this minute in time. But that's that's really all we're sort of prepared to say at this minute in time. Thank you. While we're on the injury front, then can you give us any good news about any of the other players? Uh, um. Well, we're optimistic that Danny Bach can come back into the squad tomorrow night. He trained yesterday and um, we'll see how he is today. Uh, John Obi will assess him. He trained for part of the session yesterday. But you know, the important thing is not bringing players back to a risk of re-injury. So um, I suppose the big positive for us is that you know no one added to our injury list, uh, uh, obviously from the game at the weekend. So... Um, from that point of view, we haven't added to our injury list, which is which is in itself as a positive. And how are Smith and Klukas coming along? Klukas is still a little bit away. Um, you know, he's not out on the grass yet. Tommy's injury, uh, groin related, we'll have to see how he is today. He did a little bit yesterday, but I think it was a little bit sore. Um, so again, we'll get assessment of him today. You know, we're training this afternoon. Um, but I would envisage that you know uh, tomorrow will come too soon for Tommy as well. And Stephen Fletcher and Jordan Thompson have had no adverse reactions from playing at the weekend. No, they haven't. They haven't. You know, I think it was a big ask on both players, given the limited amount of training they'd had. You know, given they're coming back off you know, quite quite uh, traumatic injuries. You know, Jordan's was a really bad ankle injury. Uh, ankle roll and Stevens was quite, you know, a difficult knee injury where you know he had a bad infection in his knee uh, after uh, colliding with the advertising boards in the Norwich game. So it was a big ask of both those players to come in, and uh, you know Harry Suter coming back in after self isolation as well. So, um, but yeah, as I say, neither player uh, had any adverse effects to, to playing in the game. That's good, and of course you got James McLean who should be available again and. Will always give you a lift and try and protect Fox at the back, won't he? Well, James, you know, it gives you a great, you know, athleticism on that side. Um, we saw last year, and James, obviously, the number of assists and goals he gave us as well. So um, it hasn't quite, you know, hit those numbers at this minute in time. So, but yeah, it's good to have him back. You know, suspension um, was disappointing for a player, you know, attacking player. I've picked up five bookings at this point of the season, but uh, as I say, we welcome him back, and he, you know, he'll give us a a good piece of uh, a good option in terms of balance on the left hand side. It's well well known that you got nine clean sheets in eleven away games. You'll need to be as resolute as ever tomorrow against Queens Park Rangers, who are on a bit of sticky patch at the moment. Yeah, they're having a little bit of a difficult run. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, they lost players, I think, in the summer that uh, are difficult to replace. Obviously, the likes of Ezzy is a player that is, is virtually impossible to replace in the Championship. Um, they brought in Lyndon Dykes, who's had a decent start of the season. And uh, But we expect a tough game. You know, again, you look at the game on Saturday and, you know, Darby are in the bottom three. But I think, you know, when I looked at the players they have, I looked at their performance. I think at times, you know, sometimes teams' league position... As it can be a little bit false. We felt we were better than where we were this time last year. So I'm sure QPR feel the same. Very little in the games. They were narrowly beaten by Reading in the 89th minute. So, um, you know, they're going to give us a tough game. There's no doubt about that. You've had a great amount of resilience. You've bounced back after every setback so far this season. And even though you've been exposed through injuries, but 
there's no getting away from the fact that losing Campbell takes away some of the pace. And you said the other day that pace is so important in this league. Will you now have to think about a different way of playing because of the lack of pace that you may have? Well, ideally not. You know, we would rather not have to do that. Um, you know, we felt with uh, Ty on the side, you know, alongside Fletcher and Jacob Brown, McLean. They, they essentially, you know, they they've been our you know our front four players for a lot a lot of games this season. There's a lot of mobility, um, and you know, obviously Ty going out the out the team causes us you know a dilemma. There's no doubt about that. We have to try and compensate for that as a squad. Um, players who maybe haven't played very much this season may get the opportunity, but like anything, they have to come in and take that opportunity. And, and obviously we approach January as well when we'll obviously look at what options may or may not be available uh, to us in this window in terms of, you know, finding, you know, that type of player. It'll be very difficult to find a, a direct replacement for Ty without spending a lot of money, which we're, we're not going to be in a position to do. Um, so as I say, you know, the important thing between now and the window and, and the games every three days is that we compensate for that loss as a squad. A lot of teams will be running on fumes, as you put it, on uh, on Saturday. But what's the mood like in the camp? Looking forward to the to another week of re relentless pressure. Yeah, I think look, the players have been great. You know, it's a it's a tough ask. You know, they're coming in here basically every day. You know, you try and give them a day off just to to get away from the game mentally as much as anything to switch off as much as possible. We're, we're only really able to do that if we play. Um, you know, at best on on a perhaps a, a Wednesday night, we can give them the Sunday off previously, uh, hopefully off the, a positive result on the on the Saturday. But it is challenging, and we're also trying to get players back in to be fit. You know, we want to try and get Joe Allen fit. We want to get Ryan Shawcross as fit as we can, um, so that you know, if 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 and when they're ready to go back into the team, uh, that they have the best chance for themselves and, and they can get to the level of performance that we'd expect. So it's very challenging from that aspect, but I have to say the mood, the players have been good. Um, and, you know, our preparation time is so limited. We recovered yesterday. Uh, the other nine to 10 players trained in terrible conditions here yesterday morning. And, uh, you know, we'll do as, you know, a little, we'll do a preparation session today. And, uh, you know, then, then we're on the train to London and that's basically the preparation. You have to turn the team around very quick. And, um, you know, it's a challenge not only for me, but for all the managers. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, Michael. Uh, first of all, uh, obviously, going to the game uh, with a clean sheet, that's a good starting point against a team who are struggling in terms of the, the momentum at the moment. And obviously, uh, for you to go into the game with a clean sheet is a good starting point. Yeah, I think, you know, particularly when you go away from home, you don't um, necessarily expect to score three and four goals to win a game. So keeping a clean sheet helps us in that respect. Um, we didn't do enough in the game on Saturday to create enough. I, I didn't feel, um, I think Stephen was probably a little bit rusty coming back into the team as well. So we, we uh, you know, I think what where we have been good is in those types of games where we, we've not, perhaps been at our best, we've uh, we've been difficult to beat. And that's that's a good thing to have in your makeup. And um, going forward, you know, particularly away from home, you know, we have to maintain that. We, we didn't have the same threat at times on the counter attack that we've had in previous games. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can we can bring that to the game tomorrow night. As you already alluded to, they've lost some key players and they're trying to gain and put a winning team on the market. It's a difficult test though, isn't it, Michael? And, Anybody in the championship, as you've said many times, it's a very difficult league and anyone can beat anyone at any given time. Yeah, it is. You know, the results are always a little bit up and down. You know, I think every team's searching for consistency. Um, we've played, you know, basically, we're, we're close to have played everyone in the league now. We've not been, you know, beaten heavily by any team. We've been in, in the games that we've lost. We've always been in the game. We feel a little bit aggrieved in some of the losses that we've had. Um, so I think, you know, where we are, you know, we're in a lot stronger position than we have been previously. The injuries are no doubt, you know, stretching our squad. Um, and we have to continue to try and pick up points and obviously get the, strong, the squads 
back as strong as possible so that when we come into the second half of the season, hopefully we'll, we'll be in a position where we can get real momentum and get a run of games together that continue to push us up and push us into that top six position. We've already just on the quick turnaround, but it's the same for every team in this league. Well, in football generally at the moment uh, because of the situation we're in, Michael, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's very difficult. You know, I think the, the games... I think people maybe underestimate, you know, asking players to play every three days, uh, also to play in empty stadiums is a little bit uh, difficult as well. So, so I think, you know, it, it's as much a mental challenge for the players as a physical challenge as it is for us a little bit as well. You know, you, the, you, the game has a different feel to it, obviously, with, without supporters in the stadium. Certainly, you know, we, we've played now just one game with fans back and it did feel different at Wickham uh, than, than it has done, obviously, in in, uh, when we played at home or, or in Saturday's game against Derby, so um, you know, you know, it's it's you, you just have to individually the players just have to make sure that they're right, ready to play, focused to play, and that helps when you've got a real purpose as well. And you know, this season our purpose is different from what it was last season uh, at this time of the season. So you know, we have to be positive about that and and and, and take that mindset into the games which are coming around, obviously thick and fast. Sorry will obviously be a massive miss, but you've still got good players who could use the wit very effectively, particularly Jacob Brown and obviously James McLean, who possibly comes back into your thoughts. So you're not short on people that can use the wit and not too short on pace with those two players I mentioned. No, look, you know, James has played a lot of games this season. You know, Jacob's a younger player that we've brought in. We probably feel that Jacob's best position is, is through the middle. Um, and that's, you know, he's had to do a job for us on the right-hand side in certain games as well. Uh, what Where Tyrese is a huge blow is not, you know, his productivity is a, a huge blow to us. The number of goals he's scored, uh, the number of assists he's been involved in as well. But we have to try and, you know, compensate for that as a team. You know, people have to step up. You know, it'll give opportunities to players and, you know, it's up to them to take those opportunities. Thank you, Michael. All the best tomorrow. Thanks, George. Dave now, please. Hi, Michael. Hi, Dave. The kickoff tomorrow uh, is at 5.30. I think it's set by uh, Sky TV. But you must be pleased with that uh, kickoff time. Yeah, I think uh, for me, the, the midweek games away from home are the most difficult because you're in the hotel for a longer period. We we'll travel tonight, which is something we've been doing for away games when we've had to stay over. So the players are in the hotel for less time. They get a little bit more recovery time at home, train later on the day. And it also means that we'll get back quicker, which is, which is uh, a bonus. Um, so yeah, for me, I'm, I'm pleased with the kickoff time. Our preparation doesn't alter that much. It won't affect us in terms of our preparation. But obviously, it'll make the logistics of the whole trip uh, a lot easier.